to be a quick video of my uh, trench art knife collection that I've had underway here for quite a few years now. I've, I've been collecting these. And I'll just take you through and show you some of them. And uh, uh, you can see some of the craftsmanship we're talking about here from stuff being almost 100 years old. Uh, most of them are labeled, uh, perhaps the towns uh, of different battles. Some are pretty fancy. Some are not so fancy, but all have some character. Uh, and that's a little stippled shell there. It's incredible detail in some of them. There's a little cross of Lorraine. And I don't know how to pronounce a lot of these names from the battles, uh, um, so I'm not even going to try to pronounce some of them and uh, uh, disrespect anybody. But uh, some of them are really elaborate and I'll show you one really nicely done almost possibly done by a jeweler but what these are these are drive bands off artillery shell casings or off artillery shells and uh, what they did is once they were fired they put this pattern you see grooved in here and here's some that we're seeing here and here would here would be a piece of scrapnel and if you can see this, I'll try to show you that mark there. That is where the drive band, being the copper band, see the pattern here, matches up with this. This would have been going around the shell casing, the right below the shell here. That would have been a, a band going around. And they call it a drive band. And once it's fired, the rifling in the barrel of the gun puts these grooves in that you see. So these, these drive bands have been fired out of an artillery piece of some kind. Uh, but like I said, I, I can't pronounce a lot of the names, so I'm not even going to try Verdun, of course, uh, uh, Major Battle. Now, I can't pronounce this. Why well, shit? Uh, I can't pronounce it. Uh, it. But this is a cool little uh, pen ink set. A uh, little quill pen, I guess you would call it. Here is one really elaborate. That's This is all one piece of copper drive band and someone pounded it out and twisted it around here and it's all one piece and a four leaf clover and that's also Verdun uh, but and here's some from the cathedral at Reims and I'm not sure what this insignia here is on this little set uh, here's a little crucifix now these are pretty common trench art item this uh, is an old belt buckle, German belt buckle here. It says, Gott mit uns, and I'm pretty sure that means God be with us. Um, I'll just see, for instance, here, this one here is Souvenir of the War. I, I did get that translated. Uh, this one's pretty cool. The way they did it, and this doesn't have a name on it, but it does have a little insignia on it. Now, this one here is pretty cool. This is a sheath made out of... Uh, bullet casings there. The Piers, uh, World War, they're just really cool items. Mostly souvenirs uh, guys would send home to their wives, mothers, sisters, sweethearts, whatever. And some they just picked up because they were probably a pretty cool piece of art. Uh, these ones you see back here, that's some World War II, II stuff that I that I had going. But there's just a quick overview of some of my trench art knives. If you have any questions on any of them, uh, I would try to answer them. But I'll show you a couple of the casings that I collect. And these are uh, trench art shells. Different kind. Here's some of my old Marine Corps shooting badge collection. And different... Shells. I'm kind of favor the fancy crush shells, um, and I like the dragons. Just show you some of the uh, different styles of stuff. Now this here was a braided one, all hand punched out, hours and hours of work. I know I've done I've done several myself, and some are really quality done lamps. Now most of the lamps work. I, I do reduce some of the lamps and fix them up. This is a little drive band 
made into a bracelet and you see the drive band marks and they sold these as a novelty and this one here is a little Winchester uh, I have to see 1898 Spanish American War probably uh, just some uh, an idea of what some of this stuff looks like like I said I get I like to try to get some of the more unusual pieces uh, but they're getting hard to run into now this one here is a giant this thing is like four foot tall I'm not even sure that the casing or what caliber it is but uh, just some of my my collection uh, as you can see I'm kind of hooked on the lamps and I, I, I redo them and most like I said probably 90% of them still work or they're gonna be working here when I'm when it's all said and done you know some of the larger pieces so uh, I think it's really cool stuff uh, if you have any comments uh, feel free to let me know what you think about it I'll talk to you later